Hi everybody, my name is Yuqin. Uh, today I would like to share especially uh, targeted to uh, Form 1 students uh, who have just uh, entered their high school. Okay, um, I'll be talking about your Chapter 1, uh, subtopic of uh, 1.5 which is density. Uh, so uh, let me show you through and uh, what is this about and I'll show you some examples of uh, HOTS question. Okay. <laughs> So, first, what is density? Now, density uh, often is to mention or to relate to things that will float or things that will sink. That's how we relate to the word density. So, when something float means that it has lesser density. When something sink means it has greater density. So, who are we comparing with? So, most of the time or at the level right now, we are comparing with water, okay? So what is density? Let's look at your definition. Density is mass per unit of volume. It's actually a calculation. Uh, so it's almost like a mass and combination of signs, right? So density equals to mass divided by volume. Hence, this is how your definition derived from. So mass in a unit of gram, volume in a unit of cm cubed. Right, all this unit, you are pretty sure, I'm pretty sure you are familiar with because you have done that in primary school. And I'm pretty sure you know what is mass and what is volume. So when mass divide by cm3 or cm3, this is what you get as your unit, which is g cm negative 3. So at the moment, right, um, you just have to remember this as a unit. And um, further on, you figure out like how it works with the unit in mass, right? So g cm negative 3. And this triangle is not something new to everyone, I guess, right? You've been using this in primary school a lot of times. So for instance, if you're looking for something else other than density, you're looking for mass, and your formula becomes density times volume. All right. If you are looking for volume and now your formula has become mass divided by density. All right. So this is a list of materials uh, with their density shown. Um, I would suggest you remember uh, pure water as 1 GCM negative 3. Because uh, one is a very, very good number, a very nice number to remember. Any numbers that are smaller than one, for example, like petrol, for example, like cork, like ice, that will float because it has lesser density compared to water, which is one, right? And anything has larger number than uh, one, which means that it has greater density or bigger number, hence it will sink, right? For example, like gold, lead, copper, aluminium, and so on. All right. So this is the example of a picture uh, to show you things that float or sink above or below each other. Okay. Based on the numbers that we have arranged. All right. So how do we um, explain in English or the important keywords that we need to have, right? When we say something float basically means it is less dense than the liquid, right? Less dense basically means smaller number than one compared to water, right? So the other way around, when we say something sink, which means that it has a greater density or larger density than liquid, which means it has a larger number than one, then it will sink, okay? Right, so below are some of the further examples that we have. Let's take a look on some calculation, very simple calculation with calculators, okay? So 272 grams of mercury has the volume of 20 cm cube. Calculate the density of the mercury. So we're looking for density. Throw in your formula. Density equals the mass over volume. All right. So throw in the number of mass, which is 272, and throw in the number of volume, which is 20 cm cube. All right. Let your calculator do the job. And here you go 13.6 cm negative 3. All right, you need very important. Okay, second example B 120 cm cube of alcohol has the density of 0 0.8. So you are looking for mass. So, mass formula. If you're not familiar, don't worry, you have your triangle, right? So, mass, which is you're looking for, equals the density times volume, right? All right, let's go. So, bring it down. Density times volume, right? Throw in your number, 
0 0.8, that's your density. 120 cm cube, that's your volume. And 16 gram as your unit. Okay, all right. Third example. 50 grams of alcohol has the density of 0 0.8 GCM negative 3. Looking for volume. Again, guys, if you don't remember, please refer to the triangle. So volume equals to mass over density. All right, bring it down. Okay, mass over density. So mass, 50 gram, throw in your number and 0 0.6, sorry, 0 0.8. That will be your density and let your calculator do the job 62.5 cm cube because we are looking for volume right cool that's it simple maths right uh which i believe most of you and I believe all of you i uh, have no problem with okay right that's the basic about density whether something float or whether something sink all right so let me uh, show you some simulation to uh, have a better idea of what density really is. All right, let's go. You can see that I have this on your screen now. Okay, so for example, let me get this out of the water. Okay, so let's say I have, um, I have an object now. Okay, let me just throw it into water and it floats which means it has less dense less density uh, compared to water all right less dense than water hence it floats so if i increase the mass but i remain the volume so it has the same volume but it has more things inside the box it becomes um, greater mass and hence it sinks into the water oops not heavy enough okay it sinks into the water all right okay so in this case right um how would i be able to make it float again so assuming we're able to adjust right the only way we can do now is either make sure that it is lighter or less a mess or okay that's too bouncy okay or let's get back to where it is okay or to increase its volume okay see that so then it will float so what i'm trying to prove to you that is we have two factors that are involving uh, in density one of it will be mass and the other one will be volume so it's not always like oh it's heavy so it's gonna go down it's gonna sink or it's light it's gonna float not necessarily the case because we have something called volume here to, to also uh, take in consideration. So uh, both of this does affect the answer of your density. All right. Okay. So uh, that's for the simulation. I'll bring you to two HOTS questions and let you guys have a look of how do we actually answer HOTS question. All right. Um, hot questions require your basic knowledge, which is what we have learned just now, and apply into maybe new situations, maybe um, applications in daily life and whatnot, right? So uh, let's take a look. We have two oranges, okay? And a uh, question is asking for what will happen to the oranges when they are placed in two different beakers that are filled with water and explain your prediction. Now, the difference here is with skin, without skin so your peel orange uh, you all know the difference with skin skin has a um, you know the white color area that, that's the rind of the orange there's a lot of uh, air sac there's a lot of um, air pockets okay it's spongy right when you press so those are the part where it contains air right and the one without the skin right is just full of uh, juices okay so uh, what will happen the one with the skin unpeeled orange okay will float on the surface of the water okay whereas the pill orange will sink so so far this is one mark all right so explain your prediction now why does the unpeeled orange float well unpeeled orange which is the rind of the orange is porous and has many tiny insects Okay, uh, which makes this unpeeled orange becomes lighter, 
less dense than water. So there you go. That's your second mark. All right. So the rind of the orange has a lot of uh, empty space. There's a lot of air bubbles, which it makes it less dense than water. Okay. And the third mark goes to pale orange is denser and sink into the water because there is no uh, air pockets anymore. All right. So there go your three marks. Okay. All right. Next question. Following show substance that are given, okay, to Cindy with uh, Coca-Cola, which is carbonated drink and with raisins. Oh, in your opinion, what will happen to the raisins when they are placing carbonated drink? So, of course, this is related to density questions. So of course, your answer has to be density, right? Uh, probably you might think, oh, the raisins will taste like Coca-Cola, you know, stuff like that. But that's not going to give you three marks, guys. So, how do we break down now? Um, maybe you can try this if you have uh, raisins and happens to have a carbonated drink at home. So try and throw one of the raisins into a carbonated drink. You realize that the raisin will float. Well, the reason being is carbonated drink, there's a lot of air pockets or there's a lot of air bubbles. I'm sorry. Okay. Which if we zoom it bigger, the air bubbles will actually form around the raisin. So all this cell works like... Um, like a boil, like a you know the one that you swim with that floats you. So uh, it gives a lot of um, uh, support to it, and hence its density is lesser than the carbonated drink now, right? Than it's before. So how do we answer first? Raisin float. That's your keyword, all right? In the carbonated drink, reason for another two marks. Bubble from the carbonated drink form on the outside of the raisin, okay? That's your second mark, right? Then the next thing is, this causes raisin to become less dense and float in carbonated drink. See, no fancy uh, sentences, no fancy grammar, no, 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 no fancy English. Uh, it's just pure important keywords and explain based on what you have learned previously, all right? Okay, guys, so I guess that's it for your density topic. I hope it helped and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.